Oh, we could probably do with different equipment here. All right. This is attempt two. Let's see how we do. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. Traps have often been a factor of the game, yet here they are transformed into an end of themselves. Here they become the entirety of our examination. So the basic gist of this is to get enough food and explore the tower. By exploring the tower, you should um, be able to make it and report back to the general, basically. Um, oh, we set to fight them. And that's how you win. The issue is how much food you lose just to get up the tower. So it might be rough. It might be a little rough. Oops. Disgusting. I don't know how I'm doing all this, but... Come on, right trigger, right trigger! That left trigger? And I don't know what's up with all that extra junk around them, but... I mean, this would've been a lot smoother if I wasn't like... Here got my triggers. In a quick, like, few seconds. This one included Ooh. require a great hero to carry them. Um, one of the issues with also doing this is you can find a deer, and those deers can swap up your, your swap up your resources, which would be good or bad. Um, depends on how much of one resource you have, and you want to try to basically make that one resource into the other resource. around the tower approach the deer if you give him a food it's going to give you basically the same pendulum layout which will give him a food because I, I really don't want to mess this up <laughs> i i failed the first attempt at this this stage this challenge and i have to say i felt really bad because i got so far so, what are we swapping today? Gold for fame, okay. Those refuse to believe your protested innocence. Surrounded by a heavy 
sharp pitchforks. <laughs> you hear a voice that's shrill. We'll submit to trial by fire, you murderer. If it comes to combat, killing villagers will surely make you even more notorious. Just attempt to escape. And it's always hard to do these things. Well, oh. done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness. Like that's actually impossible to do. Like you're always gonna fight the villagers. I think. One thing I'm curious about is if you should do the pendulum swing. Maybe you shouldn't. Just become notorious. That's probably a goal, right? She's like mocking them. Good thing about this weapon, it does allow you to get food. I think like every three finishers you do with this thing. Plus one. So we're, we're actually just like farming here. Yikes. That's a mess. I think I'm gonna try that. It's it's a little different, but I think it might be worth. Might be worth. Thomas the ogre. Let me tag along and closer. Accept. Listen to more stories. Listen to more stories. Listen to stories. It's for the you know, ogre. They haven't seen the ogre, of course, because everyone's always like reactive about things. Attack the beast immediately. Demand they turn to stolen foods. Refuse to fight. Play the game. Play the dice game. In the first try, we actually didn't end up getting enough food to go up the tower. So even if we roll everything down here and don't get anything. I think that's usually how it goes. Ooh. I actually didn't mean to pick the middle one. <laughs> that will set you in good stead from here. Okay, okay. New lands. All right, that's one infamous. Thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna get this. Do we just fight the villagers here? Oh, one thing about the villagers, though, they do, if you get enough fam uh, famousness, you could get trapped by that, uh, the thief, like, takes your gold, so. <laughs> like a nerd there. One. All right, so we're not going to get enough on him. Maybe. Actually, maybe. Ooh. 
Yes, yes. We're really grinding out advantages here now. We're not even like basically min maxing, not even like, reliably doing this correctly. I mean, maybe that's what this is for, though. Drunken Knight, Silver Deer. But yeah, I was talking about how I didn't know what game I wanted to do next. I want to do a scary game, but I don't know if there's too many scary games left. I feel like I've played a lot of them, but I've only played like two on the channel. Let's see, let's go right first. I usually go left first, but but here I am. There we go. Um, I'm curious. Do I go back up here? And go back around that way? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. There we go. Wow, that's, I mean, kind of smooth besides that one hiccup. Kind of, kind of an easy clap. I mean, honestly though, if you want to think about it in like a min-max way, it's probably the best way you can do it. It's like use some health, that way your food isn't wasted. Uh, so we're probably going to have to fight these. We're not even going to, like, attempt to not fight them. Oh, what the heck? Just straight up taking damage like that? <laughs> it was because I didn't, um, drop below this time. Jeez, they're gonna have me messed up. But, nice way to get a lot of food here. Honestly, we could probably just beat them up through their shield, just to like, get our um, finishers ready. Still kills them through their shield though. Look at the guy way up in the corner. Appropriate position for T. Four food, jeez. Attempt to purge the deer.
nicely timed. There we go. Enter the tower. Appease the gargoyles. And I forget what needs to be done once you're in the tower. Oh, it's just this. That's right, that's right. You sneaky trap you. Oops. Oof. Okay, I took a lot more damage than I wanted to this this run. You feel a strange sensation and it kneecaps. Starly, you sense that your notoriety has changed. Okay. Pulling the lever appears deactivated. Okay, ignore the bear, continue up the tower. Journey upward, tower, arrive at another tower. Another handless door. The distant sound of blades heralding more traps beyond the threshold. Beside it, not some stone gargoyle. Remembering your promise, you head back down the tower to report back to Captain Havoc. Your port, he notes it down once you've gone your way. Okay, so maybe you have to go through all the towers here. Um, which I think... I think we would be good if we go to the camp, trade, buy food. Finish trading, break camp, then go back. Enter the tower, make your watch over there. He adds gruffly, he's the gargoyles. Past the traps put there to stop you. You venture the stairs, preparing yourself for whatever lies in store. Jeez, that's a face. Er, a statue. Now do we go Ooh, close, 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 close. Okay, I like how they changed it a little bit. There we go. Come on, <laughs> come on. Oof. Gosh. That's so rough. Okay, now that's our first instance of like them just giving us life. If you pass the traps level exit, you pull a stone lever, wreath light passes through you, disintegrate briefly, and torrid your AD changes. 
If the lever appears to be activated, it is now a safe journey More up tracks. to this point. More questions. Hit it. You suddenly hear a shriek like banshee and a dark shape comes rushing down and steps towards you. You draw your weapon and smash it into its head. The shape topples down its stairs to the light. With a sinking heart, you're with your sink with a sinking heart, you recognize the sigil of the Empire. It's a soldier. She may not be one of Hardwick's own, while those in the encampment are tanned and fattened on fish. Her face is gaunt and pale. You wonder how long she has been in this place and why she cannot leave. On closer inspection, the soldier is still breathing, albeit unconscious. You jog a little upstairs and find that another door precedes this landing, a familiar begging gargoyle. You hoist the soldier over and the soldier back down to Captain Hardwick. There is a flurry of activity from Hardwick's soldiers when you return the body. Captain Hardwick rushingly grunts his thanks as the soldiers clap your back. Okay, so we have to do this again. And we just... Actually, we can go to the town, right? They're probably... Probably explore around here. Oh, they just don't even give me the option. Just straight up have to fight them. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. Mm. There's a smoke and flame. You cannot continue to endure it. Let's see what this does. Yikes. Oh, basically, it's like a, a toss up, I guess. not get one in on these dudes. Did they hit me? No, I don't think they did. Food. Let's go to the new lands. I'm thinking we should do more, more quests that um, give fame or that help you for having fame. This is a easy, easy deer here. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents change too. Come on, swap something. There we go. Temple prayers too? Yes, please. I know we couldn't have templed prayers first because we had no gold. I maybe we maybe we should have sold something, but even then we haven't had too much.
Video game grunt noise. Oh, I'm gonna go this way first. That's right. Jeez. Really gotta be hugging these curves. That wasn't that bad though. Haven't lost any life yet? Oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> that food toll though. Make a donation. What's this? Can't starve to death. Oh, yay. And what does he do? 30 fame. I think it's too late, but maybe she can give me... Never mind. Enter the tower. Make watch over you. Appease the gargoyles. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> that had me messed up. So we just go straight, looks like. That's a level two. That's good. <laughs> the end is in sight. The stair spirals into darkness. As you climb, you notice more vines break into the tower masonry. You reach the next landing and your jaw drops. Somehow, crowning the stone is a huge tree. It seems to be ancient, cranning your Craning your neck, you see it branch disappear in high darkness above. Ignore the strange tree. Okay. Hmm. Do we ignore it? The journey higher into the tower and the spirals appear around you and the massive tree for what it seems like an age. Finally, you reach the yet another barred door with gargoyle and a sentry. Back down to port to general. Enter the tower again. Mages have always had your teeth enter the first trap level once more. The usurper has organized an inquisition to put an end to us. He has not succeeded yet. Ooh, this is new. Is it gonna be any different though? No.
Oh. The entirety of the tower. Right? We're probably going through all the floors again. Let's try not to take damage, alright? <laughs> Maybe it was just that, though. If it was just that, I, that's gonna be a... That's gonna suck. Looks like it, looks like it isn't. Looks like it's just food. We don't need food anymore. Ooh. Okay. Yikes. Come on, come on. That last that last tower though. It had some it gave life. Or if we just see life, we probably hit it. Yep, this is the straight one. Jeez, I don't know how I... <laughs> I feel like it's obvious, but I'm just like not getting it. Here we go. That should be enough. I'm just like really not trying to look at the, the patterns here. Past it, but does not lead to another trap level. A cold breeze buffets you, and you're outside, being pulled this way and by the winds. If you fell around, if you fell, it would be your death. The stairs loop around the tower, leading upwardly, surely to the top. You reach the top and see the old robed woman restrained in ropes. Captain Hardwick holding a sword to her throat. Back, you have been corrupted by a mage filth, unnatural, dangerous filth. His voice rises shrilly with his left sword for his executioner's blow. It's just a general, right? Yeah. So she's just fighting the general all by herself. Oh, is that the general? Hey, was he a cakewalk though? Did anyone see how red that was too? He might just kill you if he, he gets a shot on you. Oh, I thought I had one health left. Yo, yeet. You begin to until the old maid. She stares unblinkingly. You are one who will kill him. Ask who she is. I am the sorceress atop the tower. She doesn't appear to have anything else to say on that matter. You will begin to untie the old mage. She stares unblinking. You are the one who will kill him. Ask with emperor. Emperor. She looks her dry, wrinkled lips. Is that what he calls himself now? The sorceress becomes frustrated at your clear confusion. The game of life and death, boy. He controls it now, and the land weeps for it. The north is burning. Peasants are forced to leave their homes and wander until they starve. 
you have not seen the slave ship sent south? A creek filled with the brim with his own children. He will force the world into submission if he must. She turns to you, voice low, and he wants to, k to kill you. The Reaper, this Hadwick man. Yes, yes, the sorceress grasps her hands in hers. Hands in hers. He wants to slice your head from your shoulders and flay your skin and burn you alive, but evade him at every turn. If you're not feel okay, this lady's just crazy. The high priestess soon we descend upon a mountain. The great beast says her people's last hope with the mage's brew and anarchy. It sounds like some super Narnia type stuff. This land will not end unless he is dead. Tell her time to win. Or ink black, I scrutinize you. No good can come of this. No man was ever meant to command the game. Heed these words. Before Kalos, there was some another. Before him, another. Another. Okay. Typical, like, RPG type of, uh, just, like, New Game Plus type of theme going on here. Like, we're probably going to be fighting ourselves in that sense. Because we're the one who previously won if we played the New Game Plus. Ugh, look at that face. <laughs> not pretty, not pretty at all. <laughs> 